So I feel like this situation has been going on for a while and you're dealing with either, I don't want to say boss, but I almost said boss, but the the message strongly came through as coworker, somebody that you've been working alongside or on a project with that has been treating you unfairly, Capricorn, and you are so ready to be done with this person and you want them to go away. They say mean things. They say hurtful things. I don't like this energy at all. Um, it's very cutting and undercutting and trying to undermine your efforts, Capricorn, for some reason, and preventing your progress, I feel like, on this particular project. I don't feel like this is a person in the Six of Swords. I feel like it's your creative baby, your energy, the project, or the vision that you have that you're trying to carry forward, and you have, and you've made significant progress on it, um, but not in the way that you would have if this person wasn't getting in your way. So let's see the clarifying cards. Yeah, you definitely want to be moving forward. And it's, I feel like it's keeping you up at night. There's an element of heartbreak there. And they're, I'm going to move this feather out of the way behind Ganesh. He's getting wings. Um, their communication is about you to other people. It's going away from you, but I feel like they're pulling that energy of you through them to other people and creating some drama on the work front. And it's getting back around to you, and you are so not pleased with this happening. Um, you definitely want to take this project and run hard and fast with it. And I feel like they are the nemesis, the thorn in your side for some reason. Let me know how that is coming up for you, Capricorn, if that's resonating. If some of you is not, again, this is a general reading, so do check out your sun and moon signs if this isn't speaking to you. Luckily, this is past energy, so this may have already happened. So we'll see what's happening moving into the April energies. Yep, the tower in reverse. So there's definitely a shake up. Um, <clears throat> the four of wands and the four of cups, two fours. So your stability or your sense of stability, which is all an illusion anyway, Capricorn, like this life that we have here on this flying planet ball that's zooming through space at million miles per hour around a fireball, um, everything changes. There's no way ifs, ands, or buts about it. So any sense of stability that we try to lodge into our experience there's always something to come along to shake up the ground so that we evolve so that we take further action that we may have not otherwise if we just just stayed in our stagnant comfort zones so I feel like this situation moving into April you're going to restructure how you're dealing with the people involved on the work front and in your career and in your workplace on these projects and aims and goals that you have um, because you want to see this energy flipped over. The upright four of wands is a card about celebration and joy and communion, parties with people and the structure underneath your feet on which you plan life and take action and move forward on your goals um, is known and well established. With it in reverse, all of that is not the case. So, I feel like there is an opportunity for a water sign to assist you, yet their advice and their help is not quite helpful in the way that would be effective to this situation. Let's see what the clarifier cards are. There could be a lack of funding. Um, 
for the area of the project that you're responsible for and your upper supervisor is being a little stingy because there's not enough to go around. Um, let's see. Let's back up here. So the four pentacles on the tower in reverse. I'm listening. This here feels, with the tower in reverse, it feels more of a choice and not happening to you, but you know it needs to happen. So you are taking these small, moderate, practical steps in the direction of this. Taking the project to and using the chariot energy of moving forward, which is a cancer card. I feel like there is a cancer involved um, as a person. I feel like that's the water sign over here showing up. That you're going to come around to, or they're going to come around to offering you more and better help. They're going to step up to the plate in a way that propels you forward on this project to give you more practical advice than just emotional advice. Because as a Capricorn, you are a very practical sign. It's like, okay, don't give me a hug and pat me on the back and say everything's okay. Like, what can you actually do to line up beside me in, in your efforts to be a teammate on the front line with me? Like, blood, sweat, and tears type of thing. So... <clears throat> They're going to help you move through the restructuring of your workplace, Capricorn. So I feel like the lack of stability out of that discomfort is going to come new ideas and new ways of doing things that will need to be presented to higher ups, Capricorn. In a way that is going to make them the company money um, and they'll go for it if that's the case it needs to be a very useful economical efficient solution to um, maybe a little bit of stinginess so your upper was saying that there wasn't funding I feel like you're gonna get really creative on and using this person's help once they stop being so emotional about it and step into their role and their power and what they're responsible for, like as soon as they step into taking responsibility for their piece of the project, and I feel like it's a totally different person than up here who's causing you grief, like this person's on your side, this person is not this air sign. Um, they're sort of in the middle and they understand what's been going on. They have an emotional understanding of how it's been affecting you and maybe even back at the home front. So maybe it's your partner at home that is going to, that has been the ear and has been listening to you and giving you emotional support on your job front, but now they're going to start doing something at home that's really going to pay off dividends for you to be able to focus on this area of your life more because the burden at home is lifted to a certain degree. And it might have to do with children. I just got something to do with because the baby's here. Um, Maybe you're hiring a sitter so that you have more time, even when you are home, to work in a home office to complete projects that you don't quite have the time to if you're in a physical brick and mortar office that you go to every day and you have to bring work home um, to be able to keep plugging away at it off hours. And that's going to feel good to you um, because you're going to be able to cross things off your list. So these messages are coming really fast. Let's see, moving into the month of May out of um, April. So you have the Nine of Wands, the Star, and the Six of Cups all in reverse. One major arcana card. So the Wands and so fire and water energy. I feel a little bit of 
towards the end of the month a feeling of tiresomeness and feeling like you're doing it all alone even though you're employing more help on the home front and maybe in the work front too depending on who you are this is going to be different for everybody um, let me pull some clarifiers the world in reverse but it's not that bad the king of cups in reverse so this person's going to help you to the extent that they can but they have their own emotional dealings to attend to I want to say with the king of cups and the six of cups it's almost like they're promising you something and they start to do it and they're a little bit effective but soon they realize that they've gotten in over their head and they've overcommitted in a certain way that they had all of the best intentions. I don't feel like it was out of malice by any means, Capricorn. Um, but their help is going to alleviate some of this worry for you. So they, they've done what they could, but now it's sort of like back to the drawing board with these two major arcana cards. The situation isn't quite over, um, but all that you've been through with it leading up to the Nine of Swords being in reverse, I feel like, again, some of that worrisomeness and stress and anxiety level around it has been lifted and alleviated. Um, I'm going to pull a clarifier card on these. Interesting. So something's, something about this project is just askew. Because the world in reverse and the star in reverse, like people aren't receptive to what you're trying to get across and you are kind of getting to your wits end towards the end of the month, towards that full moon in the beginning of May, where you really wanted to see a payoff happen and it's not coming in the way that you would have liked it to or expected to. Um, I still feel like I want more information for you. Two aces. Okay. And it's because with the ace of wands upright, there's still more work to do. There's still more work for you to do. And I feel like there's an additional person besides this Cancerian person who has other things on their emotional familial plate that's taking them away from this project and how they originally had intended on helping you, that I feel like there's a fire sign energy that's going to be coming in towards the end of the month that's going to help revitalize you in, in understanding what you're standing for in this finance, workplace, career area of your life. And they're going to give you some new inspiration and teaming up with them is a wonderful idea, like latching onto them and trusting them. I feel like this person is not so much more well-grounded than the Cancerian person, um, but somebody who has a high motivation and a can-do attitude that you can feed off of and not take advantage of but but utilize that fiery resource to move this project in a new direction like this mercury retrograde period I feel like there's going to be a lot of stop and starts and some stumbling blocks and some inhibitory effects that's, that's going to take the project or your career into a new direction that you can't see yet. Um, but soon you will. I feel like more in May, once the dust settles from this ballyhoo that happened in the beginning of the month, towards the end of March, um, it's because you're not done working on this project and it needed to be revamped in a way that... Only it could be after having gone through this process of the Tower and the Four of Wands in reverse. And this little boost of help 
from the water sign is going to propel it, unbeknownst to you at the time, into a more solid direction that something needed to happen with them in order for this part not to pan out. Um, so hold on. Hi guys, sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to finish up your reading. I pulled an Archangel Michael card for you and what flew out of the deck is called New Beginnings and a Fresh Start. I'll read you the prayer. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. Definite life changes with the tower in reverse and the support from this Cancerian person, Capricorn. Capricorn. 